in my community today, as usual, my, people, my community you stood their ground that INEC cannot cut away the materials and run back to, and run away. So when they finished voting and INEC refused to upload, I had to save a situation that would have been very extremely violent. Uh, the youth had taken over the football field where INEC was trying to upload because INEC had claimed that they couldn't upload uh, from there because the uploading was not successful. They wanted to go to the council secretariat where PDP usually will rig the, the election aided by the police. So the youth in my village refused and it was getting a bit violent before I was called to the place. When I got to the place, I saw policemen, I saw our next staff, and I asked what were, were they doing here. They said they came to uh, take away the uh, ad hoc staff. And I said, well, yeah, you and I will be overpowered by this number of youths that were here, that are here. So the best thing you can do is to upload. And uh, believe me, in less than one hour, they uploaded the 25, more than 25 units which means that INEC was actually lying that they could, they, the upload was not successful. Because if the youth did not insist, they would have probably have cut away the results sheet and everything and gone to the local government headquarters to write the result to favor PDP as usual. Don't forget that the allegation in, in River State is that INEC staff are paid extra salaries by the River State government. So they are literally working for River State government. Now, for this election, uh, as usual again, this election, this, uh, like the presidential election, the policemen were compromised and the police was working with INEC. So uh, you, you have a situation in River City in which both the police and INEC are, are partisan. Uh, I had said earlier that uh, APC was running an election not against PDP, but against police. As I'm talking to you now, they've arrested the APC uh, coalition agent in Lubiabo. He's in police detention. They arrested the House of Assembly candidate in Eche, Charles Anyamu. On the day of the election, they arrested the Maker Ede, a House of Assembly candidate in Port Harcourt. On the day of the election, the governor declared 27 persons wanted. He has no power, I was once a governor, he has no co power, whether constitutional or legal, to declare anybody wanted. He's not the IG, he's not the commissioner of police, he cannot declare anybody wanted. And police goes about implementing, searching and looking for these people just to distract us from our election. So I wonder what, what you think that election will be. And it's a failure, a complete failure of the system. And nobody's speaking, nobody's asking the governor where does he get his power from, where, where. Just get, let, let the madman lose on the poor, poor people. That cost apathy. Uh, and the party wasn't told in Portacourt and Nubia, but it was everywhere. Everywhere. In, uh, in Portacourt constituency, too, they were flogging voters who voted against PDP. And, and then, if at uh, the close of voting, they opened the ballot boxes by themselves and they were tearing ballot papers for, of uh, APC and other parties. Is that an election? Can uh, Mahmoud tell the world that that is how they organize? In fact, I, I, it, it was so scornful when he said, like every other election, this one is full of imperfection, like every other election. Okay, so it, it's like a, a, a child who tells his father, look, uh, I, I, I failed because others have been failing. But what's important is that he acknowledges that he failed. 